going to do a few things to hopefully educate myself and educate others more about what can be done with ionized water and what can't be done with ionized water. What, what does it do when you freeze it, boil it, etc. And a lot, a lot of customers really ask me this, especially Asian customers because they, they drink a lot of their water or, or maybe all of it in tea, hot tea, and uh, this may not be the way to go. <laughs> it's probably going to make it lose its properties just based on my earlier experiments with this. I'm just going to do these experiments newly and first thing that I'm going to do is just get a sample of ionized water and I'll test that and then I'm also going to boil hold on, these wires <clears throat> And I've frozen some ionized water, and I really don't know when I froze it. My, uh, we, fr we freeze ionized water all the time, and I don't, I don't need a whole lot of this. And then I'm also going to get another sample of ionized water just to put some ice cubes in. Now I'm just going to stick a couple of these ice cubes in this sample here and these these started out at the same level that this water I'm testing is and what before I do anything else I'm just going to stick this kettle on to boil okay so first things first, I'm going to show you the results of just the ionized water. It's a negative 700-ish, um, something of that nature. Well, yeah, I mean, it is negative 700. Okay, and then the the pH is like 10.7. All right. So now let me just switch these probes to the iced water. Now, you know, the thing, is, the thing with the meters and icing the water and all that is that it will, the meters aren't going to be too terribly accurate. Uh, but it looks like just adding ice cubes is fine. We're still a negative ORP quite nicely. Went down a little tiny bit but uh, it's still just amazingly good, like about close to a negative 600. Now, this pH is a little misleading because it, it's going to show, it's kind of like um, going crazy because the meter doesn't know what to think of this frozen water. And the meter is calibrated for room temperature, so it's, it's saying just craziness. And so I'm just going to get that probe out of there right now. It, it do, I don't think that just adding ice has changed the um, pH of the water. Um, and I'm, I'm going to test it a different way. I'm going to test it with these uh, drops because that will be more accurate. The meter is electronic and it's going to go wacko when it senses cold and it makes temperature adjustments and whatnot, which I I'm not I didn't ask it to make the temperature adjustments, but it just does it automatically and I just don't want to have that. Alright, so I just put a sample of just the regular ionized water in this little test device and it's like a shake it a little bit uh, let me show you the chart it is right at the probably about the between the 9 and the 10 so probably about 9.5 pH Ooh. 
based on this chart. Dang. That water bo is boiling. Okay, hold on. Let me go get it. At least I better turn it off. All right, so the next thing is I am going to put this iced water in and just see if it changes the color at all or does it just pretty much stay the same. Yeah, it does change the color some. Now you can always add an extra drop of this uh, pH solution. It doesn't change the fact of the color. It just will change how well you see the color. And I might have put too much because I'm seeing the color a tad too much. But it looks like a solid nine. So the other one, oh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me let me try to get a a better chart. That that chart that's on the bottle is obviously small. Here's a little bit bigger of a chart, and I'll I'll put the water up to it, and you can see that it's like. I'll say it's, it looks even between an 8 and a 9, like toward the bottom. If I look at the bottom, it looks closer to 8, but if I look at the top of it, it matches the 9. So, I don't know. Let me shake it better. Yikes. Oh, that's messy. All right. It's, it's definitely 9. Definitely. Okay. So, um... You know, what did it do? It, it it reduced the pH a teeny tiny bit, but who cares? I mean, you know, people who like ice water, iced tea, you know, just feel free to stick ice cubes in it. It's fine. Now, eventually, when these ice cubes are all melted and blah, 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 just, just pour yourself some more water. It's no big deal. All right, next thing I'm going to test is the boiling water. Now... I'm going to do two things. I'm going to, um, this is the original ionized water. And I'm just going, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour the, you know what, I, I honestly, I don't want to accidentally pour this on the probes. Let me see, how am I going to do this? Okay. I'll probably just like pour some of this ionized water. Gosh, it's not very much. Dang, it's very hot. Okay, so whilst looking at the ORP meter, and I'm also looking at the pH meter in the back, I only have two hands though, I'm going to pour a few drops of this boiling water in here. See if it changes it. A few more drops few more drops. Well, honestly, I probably didn't pour enough drops in there to make that much difference, but I didn't see much of a change. It did change a little, but, um, okay, so now I've changed my original water. Oh, well. All right, let me, let me, <laughs> let me see if I can, uh, find an, a safer way to pour this into that plastic cup. Or this is a. Oh, I hope this doesn't break my gla uh, glass. All right. Ooh. All right. And now, this will be a more accurate test to see what it did as far as. Okay, well, I, I only put one drop this time because the other one was just way too... Oops! Dang. Dark. Wow. You know, I have been telling people for years, don't heat your ionized water, but honestly, I think it's probably okay. It's like eight. You know, it did reduce a little bit. It's it's more than eight, though. It's kind of between eight and nine. Let me put one more drop just to darken up the color. I know maybe from your end you might actually see the color better, but I am not seeing it quite as crystal clearly as I would like. 
it looks, you know, pretty, a little bit more purple than the eight, but not, not nine. So that is not bad. I'm going to say, go for it. I mean, I, personally, I, 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 th I would, wouldn't necessarily think that, um, boiling all the water is a good thing, but honestly, I just don't know. Um, this does not look bad. That test is testing. I was expecting it to be like green or something, and it's not. So, that, let me, <laughs> this is the boiled water, and I can't put my meters into it, because it's way too hot, and it will ruin my meters, and my meters are expensive, and I just won't, will not allow that. I'm putting a couple of ice cubes in here, which I realize is completely foiling this experiment, completely. But I'm going to just do it because I want to see what. All right, so the ORP is significantly lower. It's more oxidized.